Let's briefly explore how the architect and the structural engineer can identify and manage changes in the different design models. First, the architect will modify the design in ARCHICAD. Let's delete the middle steel beam and column at the entrance atrium. We will also modify the position of the next steel frame. We will drag both the steel column and beam 1,500 millimeters. Finally, we will export the updated architectural design as an IFC database and send it to the structural engineer. Let's switch to Tecla structures now. The structural engineer can compare the new and old versions of the architectural model. The engineers can insert the changed architectural model as a reference into the running structural project, as introduced earlier. Let's browse for the new IFC file and place it into the structural project. The newly imported elements are shown in dark colors. Now let's browse for the IFC file representing the latest stage of the design and compare this with the previous stage. At the Change Detection page of the Reference Model Properties dialog, we have various options. From a drop-down list, we can select what to display on the screen regarding the results of the comparison. We can select to show only the new file or the old file, or display the unchanged, changed, deleted, or inserted new elements. Now we will display only the deleted elements first. As you can see, only the middle steel frame is now displayed on the screen, which was deleted by the architect earlier. Let's display the changed elements now. As you can see, the other steel frame that was moved by the architect is now displayed. Finally, let's display the new file, only to see how the updated architectural design looks. Let's continue and update the structural design based on the inserted architectural reference model that displays the latest design stage. First, we will delete the middle steel frame in the structural model. Then, we will modify the position of the other steel frame. The new position of this frame will be based on the frame in the architectural reference model. Finally, we will also place a new horizontal steel beam in the structural project as a suggestion to give the correct stiffness of the modified state. We will select, for example, a Eurocode standard HEA600 steel profile from the database. The new horizontal steel beam will be placed at the junction of the existing steel columns and beams. Let's now export the updated structural design in IFC file format and send it to the architect. Let's switch to ARCHICAD now and see how the architect can manage the structural design changes. We will activate now the file, file special, IFC 2x3, detect IFC model changes, menu command. The IFC Change Detection Wizard will guide us through the necessary steps. First, we have to specify the old version of the structural model. Then, we also have to specify the new version of the structural model. We can define the elements we wish to compare in the change detection process. For now, we will compare all element types. As you can see, ARCHICAD already displays the number of new, modified, and deleted elements prior to merging the IFC model changes to just the current architectural project. Here we can also specify layers we wish to use to merge the compared version elements. Finally, we can click the Merge button to proceed. In just a few seconds, ARCHICAD will merge only the changes of the IFC model versions and display the Markup Tools palette. This palette already lists all the model changes with color codes. Let's select the first entry in the markup list. This is a new element and it's identified in blue. We can zoom in to this element. 
As you can see, this is the horizontal steel beam created earlier by the structural engineer. Let's select the second deleted element indicated in red. This is the middle steel column which has been deleted from the project. Let's delete this markup entry. ARCHICAD will offer to delete the corresponding elements with the markup entry. Let's select and delete the next markup entry, representing the deleted middle steel beam. Let's select the next modified steel column elements shown in green. Let's zoom in and select these modified columns. When we hover the mouse over the selected columns, ARCHICAD will display the layer of the selected element in the Info tag. The column placed on the IFC imported old layer represents the previous position of the column. The column placed on the IFC imported new displays the new position of the column. Based on this information, we can decide on the next design steps. As you can see, Graphisoft ARCHICAD and Tecla structures provide a complete, integrated, best-in-class design workflow. ARCHICAD and Tecla structures together bridge the different requirements for the BIM models of architects and engineers and realizes the open BIM approach for this practice, greatly broadening designers' options for real integrated project delivery.